Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Sullivan family. It's Friday. It's Friday and it's wild outside. I don't know if you can see. I'll have a quick show you. A quick show you, doesn't make any sense. It's wild. You can't see very well, um, but actually it's it is calmer this morning than it was last night. It is starting to calm down. Ben has got some footage. Look at my hair. Ben's got some footage of what it was like around about tea time last night. So yeah, it has died down quite a lot. Luckily, we were quite, um, we didn't get too badly affected here. Obviously, other parts of Scotland have been terribly, terribly affected, really badly flooded. Um, you know, rivers have burst their banks. It's been awful watching it happen. Um, but we've been pretty safe here, other than the wind and it being pretty wild and, and windy and rainy. We've been fine here. You know, we're in the house. We didn't go out yesterday. Um, Lizzie had to go to college and Noah had to go over to Lossie but apart from that um, and Ben was at work obviously we stayed inside in the warm I wasn't going out I did go out quickly to have a quick look um, because I'm fascinated I love the sea um, I'm not so good at going in the sea because I'm a little bit scared of being in the sea but I love to watch the sea regardless of the weather and when it's rough I find it fascinating so I could lose hours watching the sea um I did go down to have a look at the at the rough sea yesterday late afternoon just after Ben had been down um but it has calmed it's calmed down quite a lot now we are so lucky where we are right here that we're literally right on the sea but yeah the garden's looking a little bit battered um but that is winter in Scotland the garden tends to look battered for the whole of the winter and then you get it looking nice in the summer and then it's just battered again during the winter but anyway as I said it's Friday it's been um I don't really know where this week has gone I say that every week I swear I say that every week obviously last week we had granny and granddad visiting so this week everyone's been a little bit subdued um obviously they left on Friday Ben's dad left we saw them on Saturday uh, Monday sorry um but yeah we've had hairdressers all the girls have been to the hairdressers uh need to take the boys I was going to do it today but um I've forgotten to be honest so I have to arrange that maybe we'll take them next week because they need a haircut Joseph had his haircut uh he let Ben do his hair so it's just Toby and Noah that need their hair cutting but yeah all the girls have been to the hairdressers this week um where else have we been this week? I can't even think where else we've been this week. Um, Erin had her hearing aid check 
on Wednesday. So we missed the last appointment because I don't know if you remember, but we had problems with our post and we never got the letter till after the appointment. So we had to wait for another appointment, but all is touch wood, really, really good. She's doing really well with her hearing aids. They're really helping her, helping her speech, which in turn is helping her reading. Um, the teachers have said that it's making, it's, they're seeing an improvement. Um, so all around really good. She's really good at putting them on charge. She wears them without us asking her to put them on, put them in. So all around, she's doing really well with them. Um, they're all outside. I've shut the kitchen door. So they're all like, what's going on in the kitchen? Why is she in the kitchen? Only because it was very loud because they're playing Mario Kart. So obviously everyone's still on holiday here. Today is the last day of the holiday. Um, well, it's not the last day because they've got Saturday and Sunday, but then they go back to school on Monday and then obviously we go away on Wednesday. So they're at school till Wednesday and then we're going away for a few days and then we'll be back again for the rest of the term. But it still means I've got to do my ironing. I'm going to do all my ironing Sunday night so that I don't have to do any when we get back from our holiday. Haven't packed anything yet. Um, I will stop packing next week, which I will vlog. I've actually got a couple of sheen hauls because we bought quite a few bits in the summer, but the twins have decided to have a growth spurt and needed some more like tracksuit bottoms and stuff for winter. They've got leggings and stuff, but they've they've kind of like wearing tracksuits and stuff a bit more now. And they have had a bit of a growth spurt. So yeah, we had to get some more stuff. So I've got, I'm just waiting for one of my parcels to come and then I will do a sheen haul as well. Uh, I can't even think. I've just been pottering around this week. It's been quite nice actually because um, I mean, everybody knows I love it when the kids are at home, but the first part of the week, they were all still a little bit like um, wired because we'd had visitors, we'd been out. Obviously we went out on Saturday, we went to Inverness with some of them and the rest of them went out with with um, Ben's dad and Ben and they had visitors um, again. And then Sunday we went to the fair. So it's been, you know, then we had people when you know, they don't see family very much. So it's really exciting when they do see family. But then equally, when family have to leave, everyone's a bit sad. So sort of the beginning part of the week was a little bit kind of they were all on a bit of a come down from from visitors. But towards the end part of the week, they've all just settled into being at home. So at the moment, half of them are camped out in Noah's room playing Roblox. So we have had to spend a couple of days inside. We did go out on Thursday was it Thursday Wednesday or Thursday no we were out Wednesday so it must have been Thursday no yesterday was Thursday it must have been Tuesday we went out for a walk um and the weather was beautiful it was absolutely beautiful it was it was even dare I say it quite warm um we went out for a walk along the coastal path little ones like to take their scooters so they're up and down and up and down and up and down they like to go down the big hill and up and down. it's so safe it's just lovely because they could just be safe and they can go up and down the path and there's you know apart from being right next to the cliff in some parts it's perfectly safe um but yeah that was beautiful it was lovely it was nice to get out everybody needed to get out because everyone was going a little bit stir crazy and since then everyone's been quite calm everyone's just chilling out doing stuff at home coloring playing some games um playing their ipads it's just nice. It's just nice having everybody at home and no rushing anywhere. Um, so yeah, I've just been pottering about doing some stuff. I've been uh, sorting out. Olivia's got a competition this weekend. She's got a new costume for dancing. She's taken ages to find a new costume. We finally found a new costume. So we've just been, I had to put some, restone it in some places. So we've been doing that. Uh, hopefully I'll get some photos. I'm not going obviously to this competition, but hopefully I will get some photos of her in it from somebody else will take them for me hopefully fingers crossed but it's beautiful it is a beautiful costume and she looks lovely in it so yeah i'm gonna go and see what they're all up to and i'll be back right i'm back oh i've just realized i haven't put the washing out it's always something um i was just on lunch um and I've been sorting out, so I was saying that about the clothes, how uh, twins have grown out of some stuff, Agnes has grown out of some stuff. Um, so 
I had to get some wellies out as well for I had loads of shoes that needed cleaning and putting away or getting rid of or whatever uh so I've done that they've all kind of grown a shoe size as well got some wellies out for the twins wellies out for Agnes some trainers out for Agnes these are all the ones that are in the under the bed um I've just been through the twins wardrobe all of that stuff too small some of it is age seven which is more like six to seven which is probably about right to be honest i've also got all of these bits out of flo's wardrobe because um they're not too small but they're really summery some things i think she can get away with wearing in the winter uh with like a bodysuit or tights or something like that but then there's other bits that are are just really really summery so i'm going to put those bits away to make some room in her drawers for some more wintry stuff obviously she's not grown very much so although she has grown a little bit i've noticed because some of the stuff that's her 12 to 18 months is fitting her a little bit better now as in it's kind of almost the right length so she is kind of in her 12 to 18 month stuff of course she is 18 months already but again i don't want to get her too much stuff because she'll no doubt take a growth spurt and and be in her 18 to 24 month stuff soon but i've bought her a couple of bits because she had lots of summer stuff and not so much winter so i've been picking up a few things like hairs you can't see that hairs everywhere all the time it's the only thing about having um like uh hardwood floors is it just picks up all the hair all the time so i'm forever hoovering right so next i've done all of that next i've got to go and put another load of washing out which i've just remembered and then we're going to go through agnes's drawers because she's got quite a few things that she doesn't really wear anymore she's still got like half five to six and half six to seven stuff because again she's quite little but there's a lot of stuff that she just doesn't wear or is not going to wear so i'm going to go through her drawers and get rid of some stuff and if there's anything too small take that out as well so that's my next job for in a minute okay as you can see the sun has come out um it's still quite windy actually it's not that windy it's quite normal the sea's not too rough anymore it's starting to calm down is my point but we have some sunshine i'm still not going out in it though it's still a bit it's a bit nippy and the house is nice and warm must admit actually um we haven't had the heat it's quite cold we haven't had the heating on that much this house is much more um efficient for heating um we've got an air source heat pump and it's so much more efficient we were losing so much heat uh out in the old house where the windows weren't great and the doors weren't great and just generally the walls weren't great so we just lost so much heat um you had to have the heating on like all day in the winter just to keep it warm because as soon as you turn the heating off it would get it would get cold whereas here you can have it on for like an hour in the morning and it'll keep the house warm for most of the day which is fantastic we're also on a key meter here so we can see how much we're using all the time Right, so that's kind of my roundup of the week, really. Ben is back from work. He now has some time off, uh, which is good. And I'm going to go and get Lizzie from college in a minute. She's the only one out of the house today. It has brightened up outside, but we still haven't um, we still haven't ventured out. To be honest, I don't think anybody was particularly bothered. They've all been quite happy milling around the house today it's really strange because when they're at school i find <clears throat> that everybody is very highly strung and you know we, we're always running around to this and that and school and clubs and everything else um and it's always the first week of the holidays everybody is still kind of on that wind down so they're still quite highly strung and obviously we had visitors and everything else so it was all very exciting 
and then it's normally the second week of the holidays that everyone starts to just chill and it's just normal and it's peaceful and I mean don't get me wrong there's still the odd argument and probably after four o'clock in the afternoon when the witching hour hits you know it's 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 not always it's not always as peaceful then but I do find that you know once we sort of hit the second week of the holidays and everyone's kind of gone over that um bump and and calm down it's always just really peaceful this is why in the summer you know we have one week that's normally quite like everyone's just almost like finding their places again you know at home and because they used to be an out and at school and all of those sorts of things um by the second week it's normally great they're all happy to be just milling around it's it's they're always they're always so much easier to manage when they're not at school. I don't know what it is. Honestly, I don't know what it is. And I don't know. It can't just be me. Other people must find it as well. Whether it's, uh, I don't know, whether it's things that go on <clears throat> outside the house, whether it's just, you know, being tired from school because they're learning and busy and all that sort of stuff. I don't know. I don't know what it is really. But I always find um, everybody is much easier to manage when they're at home on holidays than when they're at school they get very very tired <clears throat> which in turn makes them quite grumpy and then you only get like saturday and sunday and sometimes that's not enough time to kind of recuperate and and obviously our kids are up very early in the morning they don't go to bed very late at night so it, it's I guess you kind of have one or the other, don't you? You either have them up late in the evenings and then they stay in bed in the mornings or they go to bed earlier in the evenings and they get up early. Personally, I'm a morning person. Um, I'm much, I feel much more productive in the morning. Maybe not four o'clock in the morning like it was this morning when Florence was trying to stand on my head. Um, but in the morning, I do feel much more productive. So I am much more of a morning person. So that works well for us, really. But yeah, everybody is is always much calmer and easier to just be when we're all off from school and I think you always think when kids go back to school that you'll have loads of time to do all of this and that and the other but you never do because you're always chasing around after everybody so it's times like the last few days especially where the weather's been bad uh it's just been nice to catch up on some stuff and you know sort clothes out and sort shoes out and have a bit of a sort through things and even look at christmas stuff actually isabel's been putting christmas films on but i'm not going to stop her it's her favorite time of year it's everybody's favorite time of year so yeah uh next obviously as i said earlier i have packing to do but i've got to try and get through my never-ending pile of washing first i'm just really struggling to dry my washing i don't like using my tumble dryer too much because um it costs a lot of money but then equally we've got a new tumble dryer we've got a new one when we moved in here and it's a condenser dryer and i i must admit it does it's much more economical than my last one my last one was very very old so it probably wasn't economical at all but this one is very i put it on the eco setting and it just <clears throat> dries it to when it's ready and because i tend to put things in when they're nearly dry anyway it doesn't take very long <clears throat> so it's just kind of finishing them off i got something <clears throat> stuck in my throat so anyway yeah it's a bit of a mismatch one this evening because um that's kind of how the week's been really just a bit of this and a bit of that and nothing particularly you know interesting just been chilling it's just been nice just been nice to relax a little bit and just have everybody here and it's just been yeah um i hope you've enjoyed the vlog don't forget to drop us a like um i don't know what they're doing next door subscribe if they're playing something and and i don't know what it is subscribe if you're not already subscribed subscribed and we will see you in the next video